Hi everyone, Natasha here and around my home today we are in the kitchen. Welcome to my kitchen and I have a very exciting project I want to share with you today. So if you've been following along then you'll know I've mentioned in the last couple of videos about an update we are working on for this kitchen space. So today I'm going to share with you the first step that we did in order to update this kitchen, make it a little more what I've always envisioned it could be. We've lived in our home for eight years and in that time some of the elements that were here from the previous owner functioned well and worked for what they needed to do in the space but after living here for a little bit of time I realized they did not work for what I needed and we've just recently made some changes with our family business so it's allowed me to go ahead with some of these updates and changes. So let's start off with the first one today that I'll be sharing, and that is an update to this island. So this island has a poured concrete countertop on the majority of it, and then there is a wood section that was an add-on, again, part of those renovations along the way from the previous owner. And originally there was a vessel style sink that sat on top of the wood section and had a faucet that resembled the pump that would have gone to an old, um, hand crank pump like what went on a cistern or connected to a cistern. So let me show you the before and after and the process along the way to remove that sink and make it where I can use the entire island space for food prep or serving. It's been pretty exciting just to get this whole space updated to what I've always wanted it to be. This is where the sink was installed on the corner of the island and you would see it as you walked in from the kitchen. It really caught your eye. It was beautiful. It functioned as a hand washing sink when it was installed but we really didn't use it since the main sink is directly across from it. My daughter discovered she could sit at the counter and turn it on so that became a water play area for a while until we just decided to turn the water off and it's sat there as decoration. One day my dad was over and said it wouldn't be that hard to take this out and before I knew it he had it all disassembled and removed and I didn't even have time to film it uh, but I was thrilled and then we just worked on refinishing that wood section of the counter. We added some wood patches to those two holes that were left behind. The small one we had a challenge of getting a piece to fit and so we ended up using the end of a broom handle. So it turned out looking sort of like a knot. And here's my dad working on sanding those two patches and my husband jumped in to help sand the entire top so that I could refinish it in four coats of polyurethane, which is what it initially had on. There's still some dings and scratches left from my daughter who likes to sit here, but it's just part of the character and the story of that section of our island. As we were working on this whole project, I mentioned to my friend that I really wished I had matching bar stools that were the correct height instead of the antique ones we had that were too tall. And it so happened that her mom was getting rid of some, and so we bought those from her, and I'm thrilled to have those now they match our French country inspired kitchen and they're the correct height and they are three matching stools which is a bonus as well so it's really changed the look and feel of our kitchen altogether. okay so that is the update so getting the sink and the faucet removed from this corner of my island has been a highlight of the year for me with all the other things going on it was really nice to invest some time and energy into updating a space I use multiple times a day, making it more of what I've always hoped it could be. So now I have the entire island to use when I'm prepping food or setting out serving dishes or even just my daughter sitting here doing homework or you know keeping me company while I'm working in the kitchen. So I'm super grateful to my dad and my husband for their help in removing that sink and making this space exactly what I had envisioned it could be and I'm excited to go into the holidays now with my kitchen looking a little more like I've always wanted it to and in the next video in this series I'll be sharing with you the update to the corner to my left over there so um, you might have seen a few sneak peeks in some of my videos but I've been trying to keep it hidden so that I could surprise you with that update when it comes out so that will be the next video Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe so you can find out when that next video comes out. Leave me a comment down below and let me know if you've done any renovations or just little updates to your home space during all this time we've spent at home this year. And thanks for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.